Hello, my name is Fakiha. Uh, so today we are going to learn about science, technology and industrial revolution. For the first slide is what is industrial revolution? A revolution started with gold, iron and textile in the 1700s. Uh, the industrial revolution was a period from the 18th to the 19th century. Major changes in agriculture, manufacturing, mining, transport and technology had a profound effect in on the social economy and the cultural condition. The Industrial Revolution took place in Britain and, and then spread out through the Europe, North America and eventually the world. Why did the Industrial Revolution start? First, people live in fear that the crops they grew might fail. Second is machine were introduced. Third is the natural resource like coal, iron ore and the developed farmland. Um, the three most important causes of industrial revolution were dependency of technology, impact of education, and Protestant reformation. The next slide is about science and technology during industrial revolution. New inventions and technology play an important role in the industrial revolution. It changed the way things were powered, how good were manufactured and how people communicated and the way goods were transported. In the early part, natural power sources such as water and wind were used as a power. Then, new power technology such as steam power and electricity play a major role in allowing the industrial revolution to grow. Steam engine Steam power was filled by coal, utilization of water wheels and powered by machinery. In 1781, James Watt invented a new type of steam engine that could be used to power machines in factories. In the uh, 1800s, steam engines grew bigger and more powerful. They were used to not only power factories, but also in transportation to power steamboats and trains. As you can see here, there is a few uh, inventions uh, in the textile sector. First is the spinning jenny by the James Hargreaves in 1764. Second is spinning mule by Samuel Crompton in 1777. Uh, the third is cotton gin by Eli Watney in 1793. And lastly is sewing machine by Elias Ho in 1846. Now let's proceed to the agricultural sector. Agriculture revolution began in the early 1700s with the Englishman. Crop yields per acre were increased by new knowledge about the, what techniques would allow plants to grow and new agricultural techniques. Fertilizer, mineral and soil content were all factors that started to be taken into the account. New tools and the process were developed. For the transport sector, one of the first successful steamboat was developed by Robert Paulson in 1707. Steamboats were soon used to carry goods and passengers along the river throughout the United States. The steam locomotive was invented in the early 1800s. Trains became one of the most important modes of transportation during the Industrial Revolution. For the communication sector, it began with the invention of the, of the electrical telegraph by Samuel Morrison in 1844. This system allowed for message to be transmitted much quicker and cheaper than old methods. In 1876, Alexander Graham Bell invented the telephone, which changed the way people communicated forever. Uh, the Industrial Revolution is one of the most significant events in the human history and had a profound effect on many nations throughout the world. While the Industrial Revolution first began in Britain in the 18th century and took place throughout the centuries that followed, its impact can still be seen in our lives today. As an event, the Industrial Revolution had both positive and negative impacts for our society. Now, let's look to the negative impact of the Industrial Revolution, which is work condition, child labor, and the pollution. The condition that the children work under during the Industrial Revolution were morbid. They had a long and inflexible working hour. According to the many studies, this hour ranged from the 14 hours a day or 70 hours per week. The child laborers worked 
in the environment that were unhealthy and dangerous to their physical well-being. Many lost their limbs, were killed in the gas explosion, crushed under the machines and burned. The workers developed a lung cancer from the poisonous fumes. And when they worked or the machine uh, not harming them, their supervisor uh, were harming them. They were beaten and when they tried to escape from the factories, they were shackled. Uh, for the pollution, the use of chemicals and fuels in the factory resulted in increase of the air and water pollution and the increase of use of fossil fuels. Coal burning increased the acid rain, which is, is a phenomenon that occurs when the, a pollutant are released into the atmosphere and then fall back to earth as a precipitation. The positive impact of the Industrial Revolution can be seen from infrastructure, modern invention, class structure, erosion of gender inequality, and improvement in education system. The last slide is the chronology of Industrial Revolution. The first Industrial Revolution began in the 18th century through the use of the steam power and the mechanization of production. The steam power was already known. The use of it for industrial purpose was the greatest breakthrough for increasing the human productivity. The, industrial, the second industrial revolution began in the 19th century through the discovery of electricity and the assembly line production. Henry Ford took the idea from the mass production from a slaughterhouse in the Chicago. The third industrial revolution began in the 80s in the 20th century uh, through the partial automation using memory programmable controls and the computers. Since the introduction of these technologies, we are now able to automate an entire production process without human assistance. Known examples of these are robots that perform program sequence without human intervention. The applicable of information and communication technologies to the industry and is also known as the Industry 4.0. It builds on the development of the third industrial revolution. The production systems that already have a computer technology are expanded by a network connection and have a digital twin on the internet, so to speak. This allows communication with with other facilities and the output of information about themselves. That's all from me. Thank you.